what is going on everyone welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl Amani Jelena and I am back with another video for you guys before we get into this video I do want to say that I, that this information is very critical as far as learning and is very important for your business so I strongly strongly suggest if you guys do not 100% understand what the things that I'm talking about throughout this video I definitely want you guys to go ahead and book a coaching session with myself now I have all different kinds of affordable coaching sessions from emergency coaching sessions, 30 minute coaching sessions, one hour coaching sessions, 45 minute video coaching sessions. I have a wide variety of sessions that you can book. So I do want you guys, like I said, if you do not understand the information that I will be presenting in this video, go ahead and book a coaching session with me. It'll be, um, all of my information will be right below for you guys. Uh, prices are extremely cheap. Um, especially just due to the fact that it's the end of the year and all that good stuff and of course you guys know once january 1st hit prices do increase and all that stuff and for those of you who are new to my videos and don't exactly know who i am my name is amani jelena and i am the owner of allure 96 hair extensions and also i am a mogul so i do help other business owners create businesses rebrand their businesses image brand development all of that good stuff okay if you guys are interested in the hair that I am rocking today, this is a 24 inch lace wig that was custom colored by myself. Uh, so if you guys are interested on here, I'll leave that linked below because I do offer wholesale and also a drop shipping program that is extremely popular. And also my drop shipping service is very affordable and also is a, ve is a very easy way to start a business at a very low cost. Um, so if you guys are interested in that stuff, everything will be right below for you. But let's jump into this legal talk. I like that legal talk. So if you guys are not familiar, when you are in the process of legalizing your business and all of that good stuff, there's there's two ways you can do it. You can do it by a DBA or an LLC. I'm going to break each and every one of them down for you guys so you guys can, can really understand and grasp the concept of both of them. Uh, a DBA, if you are not familiar with the DBA, a DBA is simply an acrimony for doing business as. To break that down and to make that sound a little bit easier, it's basically who is doing business as. So if I had a DBA, I would be... Amani, Amani Jelena would be the one doing business as. Now, a DBA is definitely a lot cheaper than an LLC, but I guess uh, as this video progresses, we'll get to the different pricing and uh, the difference between the two as the uh, video goes on. So with a DBA, it allows the business to operate under a name aside from its legal name. And that means that you, the owner, would be the one doing business as. So your business will operate under your legal name instead of the, the actual business name itself, okay? A DBA is filed at the, at the county level. Uh, where the business is located so basically you will file your dba in whatever city or county you're in um and then you would go by they, their rules and regulations as far as getting everything registered properly getting all of your tax information like let's say you're in atlanta uh, i would go ahead and look up atlanta's regulations or the county that you are or the county you are specifically in regulations as far as the dba go just to get a little more familiar with how that particular system is because each dba in each county is slightly different it's the same concept but it does have different regulations now with a dba the cool thing about a dba it allows you to open a business bank account and receive payments in the name of the business. Now with the DBA, you'll be receiving those payments under the DBA, which would be doing business as yourself. So you'll be receiving all those uh, payments and stuff through your name. But with the DBA, it does allow you to open businesses um, or it does allow you to open business bank accounts, which means you can go to a Capital One anywhere you want to go in the world uh, for uh, a Fifth Third, a Chase, a PNC bank, all that good stuff, and open a business bank account. Now, the downfall is when it does come to a DBA, there's no distinction between the business and the owner. Uh, and what I mean by that, that if you are, if you have a DBA and you are an owner, everything that happens within that business 
is going to be your responsibility. So if someone was to sue that business, they are physically suing you because you aren't necessarily doing business as whatever the name of your business is. So just keep that in mind uh, that when you are opening up a DBA, that you are doing business as whatever the name of your business is. So everything that comes back from your business is going to come back to your personal life and your personal belongings and assets and liquid assets and all of that good stuff. Now, uh, that basically rolls over to the, uh, the point of uh, the business owner is liable for all expenses occurred on behalf of the business. That's basically the same thing that I was just telling you guys about, about how whatever goes wrong with the business reflects the owner. Um, now with a DBA, a DBA is much cheaper. You're more than welcome to do a DBA if you're just now starting off. I honestly strongly suggest doing a DBA in the beginning just so you can kind of see where your business goes and then once business starts booming that's when I recommend bumping things up or cranking things up a notch and then getting an LLC which is what we'll talk about in a second. Now the last thing uh, I want to speak on as far as the DBA goes uh, a DBA does not provide any tax benefits. Uh, that That is the only downfall I guess with the DBA but once again you're paying paying a much cheaper price than you would uh, as far as an LLC's go, LLC go and you're still in your tax entity and all of that good stuff um, as far as a DBA goes so you're still registering your business and all of that good stuff but like I said I strongly recommend in the beginning maybe starting out with a DBA and then just switching over to an LLC and if you're not familiar with an LLC we're an LLC is basically a limited liability company which means the business is operating as a distinct and separate legal entity from the owner or owners if there's multiple um, multiple of you doing business together. Something interesting about an LLC is that an LLC structure also includes more tax flexibility. And uh, with an LLC, you can choose if you want to tax as a sole proprietor, partnership, or corporation. So that, uh, you, like I said, you do get a little more wiggle room as far as the LLCs go. So just keep that in mind. Something special about the LLC, which I love and adore, is that the business owner's personal property remains completely separate from the business. So if someone comes and sues your business and you have an LLC, they are not suing you and suing your name and suing your liquid assets and everything is separate it's basically like your business has its very own social security number you don't have to intertwine the two you don't have to uh, deliberate with the two or anything like that when someone attacks an LLC they are attacking that specific LLC instead of all the owners behind it okay uh, one more thing that is pretty unique and nice about an LLC is that the owners can choose the corporate structure such as S corporation that uh, and with that being said you can you can basically receive special tax treatments uh, when it is time to file your taxes and all of that good stuff the uh, the very last thing that I do want to talk about as far as an LLC goes is that an LLC can also benefit from a DBA if you want to expand your business if that makes sense. So I'm going to break that down a little bit. Um, I'm going to put this in an example. Like let's say, let's say Kim, whoever Kim is, that's just, this is just an example. Let's say Kim owns a hair company by the name Kimmy Extensions, LLC. And Kimmy decides, Kimmy being the owner, she decides that she wants to then go ahead and expand her business into cosmetics. But she wants to do it under that LLC while opening a DBA. Uh, how she would do that is she would file for a DBA. If she wanted to, she could file for a DBA for her new project underneath her already existing LLC. Uh, and let's say she then changes her, her website name and her website business to Kimmy Essentials instead of just Kimmy Extensions. It's now Kimmy Essential Essentials. Uh, that would still be protected underneath her LLC. So with all of that being said, I basically said that to say you can also open another, a separate DBA under that same LLC. But with a DBA, you cannot, you can't do the same. Um, so I just want you guys to keep all this information in mind when it is time to do the legal 
uh, footwork for your business and getting everything legalized and all that good stuff. But if I could give a little personal information to you guys, I do recommend you starting with a DBA and then expanding to an LLC. Because a lot of the times when you are a new business owner and you do decide to open up a business, there's not many people that want to hurt you. There's not many people that want to just automatically sue you from as soon as you open your business at that stage where you're opening your business. So to save a little money, to build a little money, I do recommend you just start with a DBA, especially to see if this is a business that you even want to further with it, whether it's hair, whether you're in, whether you're entering the a hair industry, makeup industry, clothing, boutique industry, all that good stuff. Give yourself a time to, you know, figure out that this is something that you know you want to do. And it also, like I said, you'll save money in the process just by starting small and then expanding when time is necessary. So I hope this video helped each and every one of you. And if it did not, still go ahead and schedule a coaching call with me and we can really dive into the root of the problem or the, the true questions that you have regarding uh, the DBAs and LLCs and legal footwork and all that good stuff regarding your business business um i'll leave the link right below it'll be the very first link right below uh i adore each and every one of you do not forget to subscribe and also go ahead and follow me on my different social media platforms uh being instagram facebook snapchat all that good stuff i'll leave that stuff below as well i love each and every one of you and thank you guys for watching this video it's about to be a new year tax time is coming up all that good stuff so this information is very crucial for you guys to know and i want you guys to understand this information it's going to be a new year it's time to get your businesses going it's time to get the train it's time to get everything in in its gear and further your business journey so like i said i love each and every one of you and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe below and also check out some of the links below because I have some amazing webinars and vendors lists and all that good stuff. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.